So, are decor items useless? Do they only enhance the aesthetic appeal of our interior? Let's find out. The first item I'd like to discuss is an ottoman with a storage in it. Uh, it really was my best purchase uh, ever as uh, far as decor is concerned. And when I saw it online, I thought, wow, I need to have it. So I bought it. And uh, I really, really enjoy this one. Okay, I keep pillows and uh, seasonal clothing in it. And it makes it so comfy. Uh, besides, I use this uh, poof um, in different ways. I use it as a footrest. I can simply sit uh, on it or my cat can chill on it. And um, besides, sometimes I use it as a side table or even as a coffee table when I have one to two guests. So it's very, very functional to me. And the second decor item I'd like to discuss today, uh, surprisingly, um, plants. Well, indoor plants. I usually have around five to seven species at once. Um, in my apartment and uh, I really prefer real plants over artificial ones. The reason is um, I find uh, real plants uh, multifunctional. First of all, I enjoy gardening and when I take care of my plants uh, it feels like a meditation almost. I really enjoy the process. Uh, another thing is, as we all know from a biology course, that um, plants, green plants, they produce oxygen and they also make uh, the air cleaner. And I think it's really important, especially uh, in a big city. Slowly move to the next uh, item, and that is candles. Again. Candles can be found in different shapes, uh, made of different um, components, with different fragrances. And uh, I think that they can not only be aesthetically pleasing, but they can also fulfill some other functions. For example, aromatherapy. So, in my apartment I have both uh, regular candles and I also have uh, scented um, pieces, scented candles. And uh, when I place them here or there, I really uh, feel how my mood changes. Besides, I like uh, the light of a candle itself. It makes me feel so cozy and it's almost like a stress relief therapy. Now, of course, candles are great uh, pieces for decorating your interior in general. They can be placed almost everywhere and as I mentioned a variety of candles nowadays is amazing so you can find what fits you best. And uh, the next um, items I would like to group them. Uh, what I mean is I really do believe that um, our home, our interior reflects our personality. And to me it's really important. So, uh, every item or almost every item in my home, in my apartment, is uh, personal. It uh, tells a story about me. So, let's start uh, with uh, art pieces. Um, I am an amateur uh, watercolor artist and sometimes I paint. So, I mainly place my own um, artworks in my apartment. And um, this is a very personal thing on the one hand. But on the other hand, I use uh, art pieces wisely. What I mean is sometimes when I need, let's say, to cover an outlet or any other interior floor, I can place uh, an artwork there. So if you haven't tried uh, this trick yet, I suggest you do it and it works wonders. The next uh, personal um, and functional interior decor item or items are books. Again, I 
I don't think that um, regular coffee table books make sense. Uh, I prefer to have books that I read, that I like, and I try to showcase them. That promotes my intelligence, I think. I mean, when you walk around and every day you see this or that book, you may want to read it again, or it may inspire you to write something, to watch something. Uh, and uh, besides that, books are really a good conversation starter. So if you have guests, for example, Oh, they can ask you questions about the books you have and you can answer and you can have a conversation. So this is amazing in my opinion. And of course, some books are really aesthetically appealing, but not all of them. So uh, I try to find a balance between uh, the appearance of a book and its con contents and how it relates to me personally. Now, the next, the next um, item uh, is crystals. And yeah, being a certified Reiki master, I practice Reiki and of course I have crystals in my house, in my space. So, uh, I could uh, uh, store them in my dresser or somewhere hidden uh, in a cabinet, but I prefer to showcase them and there are reasons for it. So, first of all, I truly believe that crystals, they fill the space with their energy uh, and it is a positive energy and they can also absorb negative energy. Apart from that, as well as books, crystals are also a great conversation starter. Uh, imagine you have friends uh, invited and, uh, okay, they see your crystals, they ask you, oh, what is it? How do you use it? So maybe they will discover new things uh, for them and you will discover something as well. Again, very practical. And uh, probably the last uh, item, practical and personal item I have in my apartment is a plaster head sculpture of Apollo. I have it uh, I placed it on the top uh, of my bookshelf and when you walk into my apartment the first thing you see in front of you is that uh, head sculpture and uh, I think this is somehow frames my whole interior but even this item has uh, another function so it has that uh, little hole on the top you can put a uh, for example, a plant there, or you can use it as a storage for your pencils, your brushes, pens and whatnot. So I currently don't use it as a storage. I don't uh, plant anything there, but there is an opportunity. And I believe that if it was placed on the table, let's say, or on a dresser top, uh, I would definitely store something there the last decor piece I own and this is one of my favorite pieces as for now is string lights. So sometimes I can use uh, string lights simply for decor purposes for aesthetic appeal. I really like how they look on my wall. Next I can use it is as the main source of light. Sometimes I prefer to use only string lights uh, for the whole evening, let's say. And the third functional thing about it is that it's, as I mentioned, very versatile. You can use it as a wall decor, a shelf decor, you can decorate your evergreen tree in winter with it, you can uh, hang it outdoors, so the possibilities are endless. Oh, and you can uh, hang it uh, in front of your mirror as well. A perfect decor piece, what can I say? This was the last functional decor item I own and I like to uh, discuss. So let me know in the comments below which uh, piece is your favorite. Do you think that aesthetically pleasing decor items, decor pieces 
uh, can also be functional and practical. Do you use them like that? Uh, what is your process of buying things for decorating your interior? Do you think about the beauty or functionality or both? And uh, yeah, I would be glad to hear your experience, your thoughts. And uh, this is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.